up, YouTube? I am your host, Smitty Okutorius, and Refuse. Back in here. Bit one more video. <laughs> Guys, you know why I called this meeting here today. You're looking at the title. You're looking at the thumbnail. You already know what time it is. It is time to get active. All right. Back with another Blue Therapy episode. We're going to go over another couple. All right. Without further ado. So, Paul, um, I understand that Shoma works in social media or is an influencer. Is that what they call them? Yeah. Is this something that you're happy with? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I'm very happy for her. But at the same time, I uh, respectfully, the way she conducts herself isn't um, managed fully. The, the damage control isn't really there. Pardon? And respectfully, I said respectfully. I kind of expected him to come up with this. Um, OK, let's get into it. I know it's going to bring up Instagram and how I carry myself and, and uh, how people see me. And I'm tired. Like, we have this conversation once every week. So, but yeah, let's get into it. Damage control, what does that mean? How can I put this? Uh, it's one thing to be in a platform to kind of, you know, showcase yourself. However, if it's then um, inappropriate what you're doing, and it's online that kind of affects the both of us. You're lying. You're lying now. Because how do I not conduct myself appropriately online? OK, cool. Let's get into it. Random example, right? True story. So, Trauma goes out with her girls, right? Cool. All right. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. We're in therapy. Let's have the conversation, right? Anyway. This is a safe place, right? Yeah. Oh, everything that's said in here stays in yeah, this form. Everything, I believe you. All right, look. What? This Trouble is recorded. Girls. <laughs> what do you mean it stays here? So on this night, obviously we have mutuals. I know you're familiar with how Instagram works in terms of the stories. You watch one, it goes over to the do other you, automatically. Do you, do you follow her? Or did you go on her page no, and no, click no. on her story? No, no, we have mutuals. I probably follow her. What? She's your friend. You know, just yeah, familiarity. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be for her. I don't know, but she, it was there. I saw it. So long story short, uh, you know, went out with the girls. I was on my um, Instagram just flicking through stories of my clients because I have clients that are influencers, right? So uh, the, the next slide that came along was I, I literally saw Choma doing a crazy new dance or whatever, <laughs> and it was inappropriate. It was very disrespectful. Uh, it was, listen, listen, very disrespectful, and it was inappropriate, and I feel like she was over-sexualising herself, respectfully. Do you understand this situation that he's talking about? Yes, I know the exact situation he's talking about. Um, so I went out mm -hmm. with my girls. Mm -hmm. We went to the club, mm -hmm. and I was having fun. I was oh. dancing. <laughs> I was having That's fun. That's what they call it now. <laughs> <laughs> I was having fun, and I was dancing. Okay. Um, I wasn't twerking or anything like ah. that. But twerking? I was dancing. See? See? I was dancing. He says I was twerking. That's why I'm when, that's the only reason I started. Did, did, did I mention twerking? You didn't need to mention it now, but that's your point, right, babe? Because you've you've spoken to me about this. You mentioned twerking, I didn't times. mention twerking. Denise, I was dancing with my knees bent. Let's just say that. My friend was recording the environment, and I was in that video for one second or less than that. Okay. This is a really tough one. Um, because I understand where he's coming from, but it's a really tough one when you don't have the video. It's a really tough one because it's super subjective, depending upon what she's wearing, how long she's in the video, the atmosphere, who's around her. It's very hard to understand whether or not it was disrespectful within a relationship, unless you actually see the tape. I hope that they bring it up. Let's see. Okay, I didn't post it onto my page because I know how my man is. Um, I'm not ready to go home and argue. I don't want any conflict. At the end of the day, I don't want anything. Um, I wasn't dancing on a man and I wasn't over-sexualizing myself. I was having- Here's the thing though, if, you, if you're not confident to post it on your own page, then you probably think that it's, you're doing something that is not valued within the relationship. Anybody that anyone else posts on their page, you should have the confidence to post on your own page. Unless you know what you're doing is a particular issue. Having fun. He now has an issue with that. Why? So, and why is that something I need to apologize for? So tell me, when you go out with your friends, mm -hmm. 
sometimes it, it could be seen that if you're at the bar having a drink, if someone took a, took a picture, it might look like you are chatting to somebody in an inappropriate way. Yeah, but, you, you, but you know what? I'll tell you something. A picture paints a thousand words, right? Now, a thousand words, if you're educated, like myself, once you digest it, you understand what it means. So all it takes is one second for me to see one or two moves that I know, okay, something's going on. Yeah, that she's trying to do I was, something. I was dancing. You know, was a, yeah, okay, <laughs> if you didn't post it on your page, why would you let your friend post it on her page? First of all, it wasn't, it, it's not like she was videoing me. She was videoing the area. I, I was in, babe, how many seconds was I in that video for? Uh -huh. The only reason as to why I didn't post it was because I know how he is, but I have every right to do that. And if I wanted to post it, I would have posted it. That's inconsiderate. That's, just what it is. That's inconsiderate. Me and my girls mm. respect ourselves. I respect myself. I don't embarrass him online, nor do I embarrass myself. So all of this is controlling. Um, I feel like he's a little bit narcissistic, but I'm not going to put up with this shit because I know how I carry myself and it's very respectful. All right, uh, so let me also say this as well. She also may not have posted on her page just because she didn't like potentially what it was. Like, you know, I, I'm thinking of times where people post, uh, took Instagram shots at me and I just didn't post it on my page just because I just didn't like it as much, but I don't care if they post it on their page. So I can get that argument um, as well. But let's keep going. Do you ever go out socially in a group of people? Of course. He does. He goes out and he gets tables with his friends and he has these women single women sipping his champagne and dancing on him on his table. No, 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 not dancing I don't on have you. an issue with that because I know you're just partying, you're clubbing, you're gonna come back to me, correct? Yeah. I trust you and I feel as though you wouldn't cheat. So why don't you give me that same trust? Because I'm point. dancing, I'm, I'm humiliating myself and I'm humiliate, humiliating us as a couple. Come off your high horse. I'm so, t like, this That's is a what fair I mean. Point. He has make issues. A fair point. So Paul, uh, Shom has so just said that you go out and you spend money on champagne and you have young ladies sitting around. Of course. Um, is that what happens? Yeah. But, but, no, but, but. I, so I'm going to keep it funky right here. If, if it was the same, if she, if she had video with a whole bunch of dudes sitting around her in the same videos, he would have a problem with that. All right? Let's keep going. I have an explanation, right? So look at it like this now. <clears throat> you know, as I have mentioned, you know, or oh, she mentioned, I have affluent... Um, people that I associate myself with, um, you know, also my clients are quite wealthy too. If, if I'm going to a club, right, with a couple of clients or a person that I'm looking to make a client, uh, am I going to stand at the bar? Not I really. don't know. Okay, I'll tell you, that's not how business works. I would potentially want to, maybe not wow the person, but create a standard. These people that I work with and deal with are used to a, st a certain standard of living. Uh -huh. Now, if you want to get business from people like this, you kind of need to be able to show that you understand certain things. Does this make sense? So if, if, if I then go over to um, a club and I'm trying to woo a client and we're there standing by the toilets, yeah, no I'm not getting said. the deal. No, 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 facts. I will not get that deal. Coming where facts. I'm coming from, <laughs> for you to kind of transition over to the other side, there's certain things that you need to do. You need to conduct yourself in a certain way. Do you know what I mean? And whether you like it or not, money has to be spent. If you're trying to deal with a person that is worth millions, you can't go there looking like you're looking for peanuts. When I'm in the club, in a certain environment, you know, drinks, all the good stuff for the client, right? When I actually come back with the bag, mm. as Trauma said, there's no complaints. So why the hell are we having the discussion now? Why would I complain about you getting the bag? That's, that's not yeah. what we're talking yeah, about Yeah, but this here. is what it takes. No, you can, first of all, you don't have to go to the club to woo a client. You can take them for dinner. You could go to a pub and have drinks, you and that client. And if you're gonna go to the club, you can invite other guys, correct? You have friends, babe. Guys, let me talk about this, um, cause I think that this is um, an immense learning opportunity as well. Uh, I think this is immense learning opportunity um, because he's making concessions and he just set up an uh, illogical argument. She's not complaining about the money, but that was his conclusion after that. Wh wh why would you complain if I'm bringing home the money? That's not what she was, saying she was saying well if you flip this 360 or 180 rather and you take a look at things that i've seen on your instagram i don't get mad at those different things and the reason why i think that this is a good lesson for every for dudes as well is because you know um i think that he's taking a bit of insecurity i think he's taking a bit of um emotional baggage not looking at it constructively and logically at the argument that he is bringing up and in his fact putting smoke screens up 
to evade the logic that she just put forth. I, I will say that. Now, I will say at the end of the day, I still want to see the videos. I want to see the videos because at the end of the day, this is, you know, her perspective, his perspective, and somewhere in the middle or outside of their perspective, there's the truth as well. So I'd love to be able to see the videos to be able to really determine who's right and who's wrong. But as of right now, I'm going to keep it funky with you guys. I don't like the way that he's setting these arguments. At the end of the day, we're logic driven over here. There's a bunch of fallacies in the way that he did that. Okay, let's keep going. That makes business and pleasure. But for so why, why are women with you and your business partner? Because that's not pleasure, that's business. With women that run, women that you've selected, buff things that you've selected to put on your table. Yeah, you're just, he's, he's insulting me right now. Wow. Because so you I can do stuff and I can't. It's not for me. Who are you speaking to? It's not for me. The one thing I have, Instagram, it's that is away from him, he wants to control that and police that. Like, I've lost out on a lot of deals. Um, I don't even post as often because of Paul. And he's out here entertaining women. Like, Paul has a type. So if it's business, he should pick the type that the, the partner wants, right? So he's getting all his type on his table and he wants me to be happy with that. That, that's a fair point <laughs> because if she's turning down her business opportunities because she's not going crazy on the gram is what a lot of modern women do right and driving up engagement because of the, the bikini pictures or the twerking f pictures and or video whatever like that if she's significantly reduced all of these things for business but if he is maintaining the same for business, then you have to understand the difference between the two. If we're coming about this from from an equality perspective, it now doesn't mean that the rules of engagement within a relationship have to be necessarily equal. Right. Because his business could generate 10 times the amount of her business. So maybe from a visual perspective, he can make concessions from how people view him on Instagram or out da, da 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 because he's bringing in so much more money. Maybe that's a component of the argument, but just to say if the if the if the money that they're bringing in is relatively equal and he has allowances that she does not, then I absolutely get the point. Guys, tighten up your logical arguments. Tighten them up. Do you trust Paul when he's out? I do trust Paul when he's out. Yes. And I trust you too. what are your No, you don't. You don't trust me clearly. So hang on. What are your feelings for Paul? I'm in love with Paul. Um, that's why I reached out to you because I'm trying to save our relationship. I don't want it to get to a point where you realize what you've lost when it's too late, okay? That's not a threat, I'm just saying, because you need to understand that. You're kind of being unfair to me, babe, and you have been for a while. And yeah, I love him and I kind of want to work through this, but I need him to understand and to kind of see what he's doing. And he doesn't see that. Right, Paul, let me reverse it now. Do you trust Shona? I do. Really? You do? Yeah. That's good. So why can I not dance then? No, no, no. Look, it's not just the dancing. Uh, look, you're trying to make it look like I'm nitpicking and I'm pick. It's the mentality, right? So look, social media, just to stick onto that for a second, right? Okay. Let's look at a case scenario whereby she posts a picture. Beautiful, right? Now, if she has um, a comment from a guy, love struck, then if she's liking and commenting on it, oh, thanks, hon. Don't, do you think that's necessary? Answer the question. It does depend <laughs> on the reasons why. Oh, really? There's no okay, 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 okay. Would you do that in your relationship? I don't think it's about my relationship. Good no, answer, the therapist. Question. Okay, let's get to what I'm posting. I'm not posting my bum and I'm not posting my breasts, or I'm not posting in provocative ways. I can post a selfie and a man can comment. And bearing in mind, yeah, this could be a man I don't know, or it could be one of my male friends. Paul would have an issue with that. I will hear headache. He will tell me to delete the comment. Though, why are you liking it? I am friendly by nature. So again, I'm on a platform as well. I don't want to appear snobbish. I don't think there is any insult to reply into a comment that somebody has done. Quite frankly, I feel like I get more attention from social media than I do Paul. And I feel as though, subconsciously, that's probably what is affecting him. Because oh. he feels like, why are you giving my woman more love than I give her? Then how about you up your game? At the end of the day, when you live with someone in the house, you've been with a person for a few years, obviously, it's not every second you're going to give them a compliment. Do you know what I mean? But at the same time, you know, on Instagram, if a person's there, what, chasing her down, then I'm, it's not like, okay, that makes me want to 
chase her down. But at the same time, I'm kind of like, you know, what's going on? It's, I'm going to be a tiny bit triggered, if you know what I mean? Because I'm there, I can see it. It's blatant, it's in my face. There's no Listen, I think uh, what they're bringing up right now is the key reason that, you know, um, <laughs> when you were um, dating people that are in the public eye, there has to be the rules of engagement formed of whatever you guys are comfortable with. There's some dudes that just don't care whether or not, you know, such and such is is on the profile commenting da 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 But then some will care if then she is responding back. And I mean, at the end of the day, I get his point. The, the responding back is not necessarily needed. Uh, but again, the context matters. It's hard to be able to determine unless you see the photo, you understand the relationship of the the people, right? Like, and then you also see kind of what is actually in the comment, how she's responding. I mean, the context actually, it super matters in these very subjective points, but irrespective, regardless, there should be clear, in concise communication of the rules of engagement before you engage that, that just is what it is what it is at the same time though if he's saying babe i am uncomfortable that was my uk accent it was terrible i'm so sorry i am uncomfortable with this and she continues to comment back to the flirtatious comments then that is a problem no reason for him to feel the way he feels. To me, that's a little bit controlling or borderline narcissistic. Mm. And I, yes, mm, and I didn't get with him He's like funny. that. He knew I was on social media before. He was one of the people liking my pictures. So now, I don't know what you want. Maybe lock me in a room. Maybe I don't post or start on follow, deleting okay, my babe, babe, profile. Let, 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 let me take it from here. Okay. What I got from what you just said is you want to be tamed. Right? What? I'm, no, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm not going to do that. What? You, understand? you leave that to someone else. But what I can tell you is that all of this, you posting and entertaining other guys, it's not going to get you far. In who's First of all, who's and what, what are you saying? No, what does no, that no, mean? No, 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 I'm just saying, you know, I'm, be, I'm, be, I'm, be, I'm trying to be honest. That's not going to get me far in our yeah, situation. Because obviously, if you think about it, if you're now equivalent love on a love struck emoji on Instagram to real life love, You've already failed. What stupid love, babe? That's what. You... What stupid love are you giving me? First of all, because I'm not equating the love stuff to she love. I'm just that. saying that. For example, I, we could go out for dinner, and I could wear a really nice dress. Paul would not say anything. He will take the picture at the end of the evening, and I can post in that dress, and people will love the dress. All of a sudden, he'll say, "Oh, the dress is nice." But why are they commenting? Why are they doing this? Why couldn't you say it before? To me, it's like. He's probably upset because I get the attention that he's not giving me. Not that I'm equating it to love and I'm and I'm holding on to the love as if it's real. We know how social media is. It changes. So Paul, she she's <laughs> she's making fantastic points. After listening to it, I think he is projecting what he doesn't, what he's not giving, and then he sees it. I think that she's right right there. I think I think I think that she's abundantly right. I mean, at the end of the day. You know, being, you know, if your girl, if you go out with your girl, you guys have a good time and then you post them and then she's posting photos of how she looked when she went out with you. You can't get mad that people are down into her comments commenting unless there's some type of deep seated insecurity as seeing people adoring. But you didn't adore knowing that she values the verbal adoration from you. You understand what I'm saying? So like. I think that there's a give and a take and there's a balance here. You know, you don't have to go over simp because she looks beautiful. You don't have to over validate because she lived because she looks beautiful. But there is, you know, saying you gotta cast the line out sometimes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you gotta you gotta cast it's the it's a balancing act, you know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta verbally reward sometimes, you know what I'm saying? If not, like, you know, if you if you are um relinquishing validation a hundred percent of the time i don't think that's a winning strategy either well what i also thought was interesting is that he brought up that she wants to be tamed and i think to get to that conclusion after she just said all of that it just me it, it's i think that he's trying to find logical inconsistencies in what she's saying but a lot of things that she's saying you know I, a lot of it is is tight for the logic for the arguments that she is or the hypothesis that she's stating at the top of these arguments do you believe that you are giving um, Shoma the love that she wants, requires, likes? We live together. We're roommates. That's a terrible answer. 
But you know you can be in a room full of people and be lonely. That's not the case. So, right. so when you're together in a room, you feel that that is giving her love. 100%. <laughs> and how do you feel about that? That's just, that's wow, isn't it? Because um, it wasn't always like that. I don't know what's changed, but if you feel like that's giving me love, then that's fine. What can I say? That's just it. I wouldn't, you see the conversation we're having now, I wouldn't be able to have it at home with Paul because he gets so heated or he dismisses me. So if I'm Tell him now what you'd like him to do. I would like you to give me some, some love, like some affection. Um, acknowledge that I'm there. Do you know what I mean? Just, I don't know. I don't know what to say because, yeah, I don't know. Just... Babe, babe, you're taking a fucking piss. <laughs> and you're laughing. Look. No, 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 out of everything that I've just said, in terms of, you know, the guy, her entertaining it on the emoji stuff, you're now telling her to ask me what she wants from me when she is the one that is ruining our brand. Our brand? How is, what, how is, my, how is my Instagram got anything to do with you? Hmm. No, tell me, because you met me on the Instagram. Did you build my platform? Hmm. Yeah, straight away. <laughs> mm-hmm. It has nothing to do with him, and that's what he's too possessive over that account. Do you want it? Because it has nothing to do with you. Hmm. If you <laughs> maybe log me out and sign your name, if Paul oh, fundamentally no, 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 his face no, there. No, 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 no. I need to. Get, no, no. I need this one. It's not yours. It's not. We don't have a brand. We're in a relationship. He's we don't have fine. a brand. I'm Choma. You're Paul. When they book me for things, they don't say, "Oh, by the way, post with Paul." It has absolutely nothing to do with you. So stay out of it. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> I disagree with what she's saying. I think that there is a brand there. How she represents herself matters. The argument is, is she not representing herself well? And that I, we can't, we don't know right now because we don't have the photos. Hopefully they will put them on the goddamn screen. But at the same time, <laughs> when she's saying these different things to have him respond, hmm. <laughs> It's hilarious. It's absolutely hilarious. But guys, don't do stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? You remain stoic. You give you give direct responses back, and you fit the logic within there. All right? That's not a stoic response, but it's a funny response. Okay. I feel like okay. my Instagram knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I've heard. I've heard. Look. Paul met me on Instagram. Can we deep that? Can we take that in? Like he met me on this same platform. He no longer wants me to post. This same platform that he doesn't like the way I carry myself was the same platform he came to me on. Is this making sense to anyone? Because I, I'm confused. He was in my DMs and now all of a sudden I should stop responding to them. He was in the comments, he was liking the pictures. Now he doesn't even follow me. Yeah, but, but, but that's the thing is that like, but you're in a relationship now. So if the way that you conducted yourself is unbecoming uh, beforehand, and I'm assuming that it's not, because then why would he want to slide into your, to, into your DMs? Right, but then expect something differently on the on the back end. Or if after you get a relationship, it has turned up into something else, then I understand his arguments. However, if he's expecting her to be carrying herself differently without that conversation outside of therapy, that's gonna lead to some issues. Let me give you a tiny bit of coaching now. There's a difference between a brand and a face of a brand, okay? Now, the guy behind the camera that's the brand. Everything in front of it is the product. So I'm the product. So no, you're no, no, selling no. me. No, 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 so no. no. You're selling you yourself. About? You're selling yourself. Now listen to this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, Look, I'm, I'm, I'm a creator, right? I work with creatives. And what we do is we work with different products. Because you put, you take pictures, you're now part of a brand. Hold do on, they on. pay you no, 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 when no, they no. email me? Is your name in the wait, email? Let me finish. Wait, let me finish. Let me I don't think so. Let, let me finish. Let me finish. What, what Trump is not getting is that Oh my gosh. I'm speaking from a position of power. Do you understand? The position I'm in, I don't get stressed over, does my makeup look nice? Does, I, like, does my hair look nice? I don't have hair. Do you see where I'm coming from? Now, at the end of the day, this is really, really a waste of my time, but do you know what? I'll come on, hold on, no, 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 let me finish, let me finish. Now, you fucking wasted my time today, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Relax, no, no, wait, no, no. Because I'm relaxed, I'm relaxed, I'm relaxed. Listen, listen to what I'm saying, listen to what I'm saying. Everyone's listening to you, listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying, listen to what I'm saying. Now, at the end of the day, there's a show, right? With every show, 
behind the show is the curtains. You're not part of I'm it. I'm the sorry. one that's pulling the fucking strings. You're not pulling but any strings. But she can't string. see it. You're not pulling any strings. It's string. over her head. You're taking pictures. She sees skittles like from, this, from the sky. She thinks it's natural. No, excuse me. But she doesn't me. know there's someone that's on top that's pouring the skittle. Uh, what are you talking about? This is, this is getting nobody anywhere. Yeah. Exactly. And that's why, why the you fuck I'm leaving this place. I'm fucking wasting my time. How are you claiming something you have nothing to do with? You. Thank you and no thank you. What are you claiming? Can someone carry this equipment, please? Where are you going? Let him go. Fucking bullshit. Tell us, I've got what the? Do you see what? Do you see what I have to deal with? Show oh my God! <sighs> Just take a minute. I, so I, let me let me give my quick comments, guys. I understand brand. I understand image. His example, while I loosely get it, is not clear, and it's, in fact, imprecise. Uh, and what I think that we just saw was a childlike tantrum when no one got it, when she kept on challenging his description of it, and when the therapist didn't like the undermining uh, tone that he was using and the words that he was using uh, and his body language with all of that as well so when the therapist called it out he had a tantrum and he left this is far different than uh the last video that i did when the young man left uh after the the young woman was being completely unbearable okay and completely disrespective this to me is a not a leaving because your logic is being disrespected this is a leaving because you are unwilling to participate in a situation where people do not 100% agree with your position. And that is far different. That's far different. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's see what else happens. Is this the way that he would end an argument normally? Yes. yes. Like, normally, I'm not even able to get this far because as soon as I say something, he's triggered. If he doesn't want to hear it, he's triggered. And he dismisses me. Like I said, he walks out. This is what I mean, like, and he thinks there's nothing wrong with us. Being here, to me, it's just a joke. I knew from day one, it's all bullshit. I calculated everything, do you understand? Therapy or not, it's, it's a hot mess, to be fair. And now the whole world gets to see it, thanks to trauma. Like, I, I don't know if I can see myself coming back to this. I've tried for our relationship, do you understand? But right now it's like, come on. Like, I've done what I can do, like. All right, guys, I'm gonna pause it right here. Um, it, it, here's the thing at the end of the day i think um you know i've gone through my comments regarding the things that i saw right here i think at the end of the day um therapy is uh something that's not talked enough about within uh the culture the society at large today and i think it has overwhelming benefits right overwhelming benefits because a lot of times um you know, the first time that people encounter as many issues what they do when they live together, right? So they see them at their greatest, they see them at their at their lowest, what have you. But I think therapy is just so instrumental, no matter if it's singles therapy, you know, you by yourself to diagnose some ish, or couples therapy as well. Because sometimes the good times are so goddamn good that it lets you ignore the negatives. Because I've experienced this in my life as well, where I've ignored the negatives. And I think that ignoring the negatives and not getting a third party facilitator, arbitrator, to understand the issues and pick apart using questions, the Socratic method, I think without you being able to do that, then those negative things will come up. They will come up. You understand me? So I think that it's necessary. Matter of fact, let's go back in here and see if they end up chatting. Yeah, you know, yeah, privacy, yeah. Am I gonna have privacy? Will you give me a minute? Paul likes his ego stroked every now and then, and I'm quite happy to do that. For me, this therapy session means a lot. It means a lot more than he even understands. This is the last leg for me. Um, and if this doesn't work out, then I'm not going to stay in this relationship. Like, we are done. And I want to be able to feel as though um, I tried my best. I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'll give you money back.
paying for this. I think it'd be free if they recorded it. Even though I'm pissed off, at the same time, obviously like, I've invested like three years into the relationship and I know what this means to her. I have to still kind of be a bit logical slash considerate to the situation and my partner, you know, I'm not a total asshole, so. I'm not gonna lie, I, 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 don't, I don't like the way he's been conducting himself throughout this whole thing. That emotional tantrum at the end uh, let, lets you know he's got some things that he's gotta be able to work out. Uh, within it as well but you know at the end of the day we call spades a spade over here irrespective of gender all right guys guys what do you guys think about this particular review about the things that i went over in this video do you agree do you not agree let me know down in the comment box down below would appreciate your thoughts and reactions to it all right until next time youtube